So what do you do when you survive a giant pear-shaped brain tumor? Or if you're Jeannie Gaffigan, you write a heartwarming and hilarious book about it. Yeah, that book, When Life Gives You Pears, is already a bestseller, and we are so happy to have Jeannie with us now. Welcome back, Jeannie. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so happy to be here. Well, I'm so happy you that here. you're here, yeah. too. You were diagnosed in 2017. You are thankfully doing great now, right? Can't complain. Yeah. And so at what point in your journey did you decide that you were going to write a book about it? Well, it wasn't really like a, a decision, like in retrospect, because I think that's something that might happen like 10 years later. But it was like a way that I was coping to get through it, just being a writer and yeah. comedy writer. I was already coming up with stuff to get me through the hardest time. So I write a lot in the book about the real time of being in the MRI for hours and yeah. just being so scared. Yeah. And then just kind of making up jokes and things like that. Yeah. And Which is amazing that you are able to do that in such a time. I think it's just the way that I, I mean, if I was like a, a, a watercolor painter or something, I'd probably <laughs> yeah. make a big watercolor about it. Or it's how to express what you're going right. through. It's just my way of coping. And I think that any artist or writer would find their way to get through this this terrible thing yeah. yeah well your husband is comedian Jim Gaffigan and I wonder if having a comedian as your partner through all of this has been helpful for you absolutely yeah <laughs> because we've always taken like kind of bad things and kind of turn them upside down yeah and that's kind of the lens with which we have viewed life yeah and when life gave us pears you yeah. know a, a literally a giant pear sized yeah. tumor it wasn't the first reaction but it was something that had to come up to get us through it something yeah. that we had to process and jim having jim as my husband it made sense suddenly <laughs> that it, yeah. that was the person that i needed yeah. to get me through this yeah and you directed his, his special um a noble ape and yes. he talks about this experience in the special yes. so was that an easy decision for you guys to make you're like yep you know what we, we've just got to talk about this i think it was a really easy decision huh. just like mm -hmm. writing about it was just something that when i got diagnosed i didn't know anybody who, I mean, you hear stories yeah. about someone, but it wasn't in the same location or anything like that. And also, like, when something does happen, like, even if it's not a brain tumor, if it's something that just knocks you on your butt yeah. in the middle of your busy life, how do you, what do you do? Yeah. And I feel like I didn't have that book. So I just felt like we have to share this. We yeah. have to, if, even if we made mistakes, the, sometimes the best thing is to learn about don't do this. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. You know? So how has this experience changed the way you approach life? Because right before it happened, you know, you're the, the mother of five, you're working together with your husband and doing a lot of things. You seem to have it all figured out and then this happened. How has it changed your approach to everything? It, it's completely turned it around. Now, I can't change who I am. I'm still a producer. I'm still constantly, like, wanting everything to be perfect. Yeah. But there's a broader perspective is like how important really is these are these things that yeah. I have given so much yeah is it, do I have to have all my kids on time for this do they have to all know to perfectly play an instrument like all these things that kind of I told myself were the most important things in life before and then to have it all taken away and go back in you know I still I'm not gonna just give up my job and you know yeah. move to the wilderness or whatever yeah but within my life how can I take every moment and take those little moments, like with and my kids, just count. to smell their heads yeah. instead of being like, oh, your, your head smells nasty. Right, <laughs> which is I why you it. dedicated this book to your tumor, which I appreciate. When Life Gives You Pears is out everywhere now, so be sure to pick up a copy. Thank you so much, Thank Jeannie. You. And thanks for being, bringing these pears. Yes, stress pears.